Today we're in Glasgow at the Royal Concert Hall and we're celebrating the 20th anniversary of the Scottish Friendly Children's Book Tour by putting on an amazing jamboree with five brilliant authors. So the jamboree is part of our usual touring programme. We go on seven tours a year, four in Scotland and three in the rest of the UK with Scottish based authors and we get around every single local authority in Scotland, that's really important to us. Whether we're doing a massive event like we are today with 2,000 children or whether we're on the Isle of Gear seeing a whole school of 12 people doing a beachcomb and storytelling session. I don't think we could stop the Scottish Friendly Children's Book Tour if we wanted. We've been doing it for 20 years now. We've travelled the length and breadth of the country so it's now become a well-established feature on the literary landscape, I think. Having Kieran Murta come to actually visit the school had unexpected consequences, not just for the children who read more, spoke more about books at home. It was the impact on staff. Staff were enthused because the ideas that he used were taken back into classes from primary four through to primary seven. It was amazing meeting Kieran Murta because he was funny and he kept on joking and he made everyone laugh. We were lucky enough to uh, win the chance to uh, perform a picture book with Julia Donaldson. The majority of our children don't have English as a first language. They're coming from an area of quite kind of significant social deprivation. And this was an amazing opportunity for them that they would never have got otherwise. And it was a real boost to their confidence and sense of self-esteem. So it was a great experience all around. To meet Kala Butchart, it was just really amazing because she just has really good books and as you can see I've one here. When they come up on stage you don't really know who they are at first but after they come up you're like she could be my favourite and I could be just like her or just like him. My favourite part today was meeting Jacqueline Wilson and getting one of her books signed. Today has sparked a real interest particularly with the boys who would be don't like writing your traditional stories and um, the Etherton brothers have gave them so much imagination and I have got a lot of very hyper boys wanting to go out to school and get pen and paper out to draw and to write. You go to some of these schools in the middle of nowhere and you think oh they've never seen an author before in their lives you know this is going to be a real treat and they're like oh yeah we had so and so last year and so and so two years ago and so these children are getting <laughs> such an amazing ongoing exposure to the, the idea of authors and, and, and writing as a profession and illustration as a profession. The boys said that they watched them and that they could see that they loved what they do and that's what they want in a job. So even if it's not writing, they've created a buzz for learning life and work. The number of different creative careers that are opening up, if you get the chance to talk to these children and just show them a tiny sliver of what's out there, then your time has been extremely well spent and thanks to Scottish Friendly and the, the Scottish Book Trust and these tours that have been going on for so long now. That opportunity has been given to a legion of children and uh, we are very lucky to have been a part of it.